Now, one of the region's oldest swimming pools will reopen tomorrow after a massive community effort. Work's been underway all winter on the Beckles Lido, which was closed two years ago. Now, in its heyday, it was hugely popular, and since it closed, there's been a massive campaign to reopen it. Now, back in June, we brought you the story of a 2,500-year-old mummy who was given a CT scan in Colchester. Well, now those fascinating images have gone on display, along with the mummy herself at Ipswich Museum. So we sent Victoria Webb to find out more of her secrets. Beneath the shining stars, Lady Tehathor is surrounded by artefacts that would be very familiar to her. She's very much the centrepiece of this exhibition, and thanks to this woman, who was in her mid-twenties when she died of natural causes, we're able to understand more about ancient Egypt. At the end of June, Lady Tehathor was put through a CT scan in Colchester in the hope of revealing exactly what was left inside the wrappings. It was a, an incredible gift to have something so old um, revealed to us in such a modern technical way um, that we were all just blown away by it. It was, it was an amazing thing. Nobody has seen inside her wrappings for nearly two and a half thousand years and there we were able to see inside her once again. A 3D reconstruction was made from those images allowing us to see what the skeleton looks like. A side view of the skull shows the mummy's brain was removed and looking at the chest you can see there aren't any organs. The purple images here are where her teeth were scattered during mummification and you can see Lady Tehathor was buried with her hands resting on her thighs. Since these images were produced, universities from all over the world have been in touch to request copies because they believe they can shed even more light on Lady Tehathor, including researchers in Memphis in America. And they had discovered that some mummies were wrapped with a mummified bird put in the wrappings with them. Now we are not experienced enough to know whether the strange bundle that we found wrapped in with Lady Tehathor is a bird or not, but we're hoping if we send our results to America that they will let us know. Lady Tehathor was donated to Colchester Museum back in 1871 by a local man who'd bought her as a souvenir when he was on holiday. The service merged with Ipswich in 2007 and now their joint collections are on display. This is the first major investment in a gallery here since the museums merged and it's been fascinating and, and very exciting to see the gallery come together. The Egyptians believed the spirit lived forever amongst the stars and the afterlife was often referred to as the field of reeds. So you can see a lot of thought has gone into creating the right atmosphere for Lady Tehathor and staff here are hopeful there'll be even more revelations about this young woman in the coming year. Victoria Webb, Anglia News, Ipswich. Fantastic. Yeah. And if you want to go and visit Lady Tehathor, then you can do. 10 o'clock tomorrow morning at Ipswich Museum is when the uh, exhibition opens. Right, we've had a, a glimpse of the mummy, haven't we? Let's get a glimpse now of the national picture. Here's what's coming up in a couple of minutes. Well, it's the weather now, and uh, it hasn't really felt like August today. No, has it? it hasn't. Like I think there's a bit of rain on the way. We're no good for cricketers. <laughs> He's not been a happy boy. Not Let's happy. get the forecast now with uh, Amanda. You might be running off pitch for an early tea tomorrow then. Spits and spots, don't <laughs> like it at all. Whatever you're doing, have a lovely weekend. Yeah, we'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.